A red pickup truck and its potential connection to the disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos. For the second day in a row, focus on that truck provided a good chunk of testimony at the Michelle Traconis trial. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has the details from Stanford Superior Court. Well, jurors learned state police detectives processed that truck belonging to an employee of Fotis Dulos on three separate occasions. It appeared to be um, very clean you know, for a 18 year old truck. Retired state police detective Matthew Riley says there was something else investigators noticed about the 2001 red Toyota Tacoma pickup truck, specifically its seats. They appear to be from uh, a Porsche, um, you know, or, uh, and they, they weren't affixed or bolted in any way to the floor of the pickup. They were just kind of sitting there. With Riley telling jurors that earlier in the investigation, he came across a Porsche at a property owned by Fotis Dulos. I remember the front seats uh, were missing. At the seats that were in the Toyota Tacoma that day, what were they? Uh, they were leather uh, seats from a Porsche. Police believe that red Toyota Tacoma, which belonged to Pavel Gamini, an employee of Fotis Dulos, is the same red truck captured on cameras traveling from Farmington, New Canaan, and back on May 24, 2019. The day Dulos' wife disappeared. In searching for the truck, investigators swabbed for DNA and tested blood like stains, even pulling out carpet and a side door panel. They also looked at two other seats that were in the back of the truck bed. And you knew that the they found no evidence of blood on any of those swabs out of this truck, correct? Uh, I don't know that for sure, sir. You know that in the areas where you swabbed for luminol and submitted it, there was no evidence of blood detected at the lab, correct? Objection. This afternoon, prosecutors put Kevin Parisi on the stand, a forensic examiner with the state lab who tested for fingerprints yes. on multiple pieces of evidence investigators recovered from trash cans on Albany Avenue in Hartford, noting apparent matches to Fotis Dulos on a black garbage bag and pieces of tape. And while Michelle Traconis' prints didn't turn up, her attorney wanted to know if the state checked for others. Were you asked to compare any of these items to an individual by the name of Pavel Gumieni? No. When testimony resumes tomorrow, we'll told jurors we'll hear from two retired members of the state forensic lab who worked the case. Reporting at Stanford Superior Court, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.